Alrighty, take two. <laughs> I was going live and for some reason Amazon just shut down my live stream, but we have the Oral Breeze Water Flosser here. I went ahead and unboxed everything on that previous live stream that hopefully saved here on Amazon, but you have uh, all the different things. This is your main assembly right here. I have one of these in my other bathroom and so if I've, I've assembled these before, so I wanted to show you guys how to do it in this bathroom here because this is our kids' bathroom and I use this in our bathroom and uh, it's been great for me. You have suction cups right here because they have this little tray that you can suction onto the wall. And you also have your, what I like to call shooter madooters right here. So they're gonna, that's what shoots the water through the tubing so that you can get all up into your teeth and get your teeth all nice and clean. This works extremely well uh, for my daughter because she has braces and you know, it's really hard to get, <clears throat> excuse me, it's really hard to get uh, all the food that's stuck up in there with just like a toothbrush or one of those aggravating like picking things. And so we decided that this would be a good uh, supplement for her. Uh, while she's in the shower, she can floss as well. And my son too, he's been having some teeth issues as well. So if we can, you know, get some better flossing going on, that would be good. So right now I'm just simply putting in the suction cups. They just simply slide on into there just like that. And you'll notice that you have five uh, holes right here. So if you do want to get more shooter maneuvers, you can. And these are nice and color coded as well. So everybody knows whose is whose and you don't share all the germs and whatnot. But these, uh, once you have it on the, uh, the cord, this end one has a little opening right there. So the cord slides through there and then that sits right down into there. And for the one that doesn't have the cord on it, it just simply sits right on into there. Now, another thing that I like about this too is that they give you a whole bunch of holes. I actually brush my teeth in the shower as well and my toothbrush fits nicely into these holes right here. So that's just kind of like an added bonus for me. But let me show you guys how to get this thing nice and assembled. You will, the only thing you're gonna need is a crescent wrench to be able to get your shower head off and to put the new one, uh, the new uh, valve on. And then they give you the uh, Teflon tape that you're gonna wanna use so that it doesn't create any leaks. So let me go ahead and get this thing taken care of right here. Just gonna open that crescent wrench. And let's see, righty tighty, lefty loosey, righty, righty lefty. So we need to go this way. There we go. Oh, this basket might be in the way. Is it gonna be in the way? No, I can go all the way around, yay! <laughs> it's always a plus whenever you can go all the way around, am I right? <laughs> you don't have to keep taking it on and off. <laughs> all righty. Oh, now as it moves out, I oh, no. should move these bottles up actually. Now, once I got it loose, I can just kind of do like that. So, got the main shower head off right there. I'm just gonna put that down. What you wanna do now is you wanna grab your tubing and your shower valve right here. I haven't done the unbagging of this yet, but you do have this little guy right here. It's basically a diverter. So you just simply turn this little guy right here and that's gonna turn off the shower head and it's gonna turn on the water flosser and water's gonna come through there. So, they also give you inside here a little gasket that you're going to want to use as well. It goes inside that diverter right in here. Make sure to do it on this side where the threads are on the internals and not the external threads or else that's not really going to work that well. So you're just going to put that one right on into there. Put that little gasket on into there. And then we uh, just need to get some Teflon tape. You're gonna need it twice because you're gonna put it on the threads right here, although we have a little bit right there, but I wanna get it good. And then you're gonna put it on this piece as well. And that's so that you don't have any leakage going on whenever um, the water is on, which we will test. So let me go ahead and start the Teflon tape right here. Okay, so Teflon tape. If you're turning it to the right to tighten it, lefty-loosey, righty-tighty, then you wanna put the Teflon tape the other way so that it doesn't come unraveled as you're doing it. And I always get this wrong. So if I'm going this way, but I'm gonna be turning this way, I think that should be right. <laughs> Let's find out today. All right, so we're just gonna go ahead. I like to kind of press it into the threads. Hopefully it helps it stay a little bit. Give it a couple reams around, maybe two or three. Then you just simply pull the tear and press it on down. You don't wanna put it too thick or else you uh, won't be able to catch the threads really well whenever you go to screw in the other parts of it. But this right here, we're gonna now just take, ooh, got a little bit of 
tape hanging down. Let me go ahead and get it out of the way of the flow. All right, let's see if I got it right. Let's see, I did it that, no I didn't. I did it the wrong way, of course. So let's see how it goes on even though I did it the wrong way. I just gotta line it up. Come on up. Okay, it's going on, we're good, we're good, yes. Boom shakalaka, all right. So I wanna turn it pretty tight just to make sure we have a good hold. And then this right here is gonna be your valve that turns it on and off. It's got a nice fluid turn on there as well. It works really well. I probably should have started this a little bit more. Actually, I could probably just undo it since we have that Teflon tape. That way your little nougat's on the side right here and it's not necessarily like up. Or I might be able to turn it just a little bit more to get it all the way over. But I think we're good for right now. Now, since this is for our kids too, I might want to consider having it down below so that they have that little bit like three inches to be able to reach it. Depends on how tall your kids are. But I'm just gonna do it like this for now because I know my kids should be able to reach. I got it most of the way over to the side there. Now, what we want to do is grab that Teflon tape again. Boop. And okay, let's see if we can do it the right way this time. We're gonna go this way. I believe this is the other way. I'm gonna, Turn that the other way just so that it's out of the way. And we're gonna put the Teflon tape right there. And we're just gonna ream it around. That's one time. And I think two times should be good right here. Let's go ahead and tear. Just like that. I'm gonna press to get that Teflon tape to go down into the threads. Remove the ones from the little hole right there. And let's get our shower super easy to install. Doesn't take long at all. I mean, I'd like to come on up here so I can see a little bit better. And I'm just gonna put that, oop, get it right on. Yes, we did the Teflon tape the right way. Now this one, since this is on a, a, a swivel right here, like a ball and socket swivel, I uh, have to use my crescent wrench to be able to get that one in. With the diverter, it's a little bit easier because it's like a T and you can grab it really easily. But since this uh, shower head, a little bit more has that uh, ball and socket then uh, you got to add a little bit of extra uh, you need the extra tools to be able to get it in good all right now our baskets in the way so we're gonna have to in and out in and out make sure we get it on nice and tight so that we don't have any leaks in there ah you know, and I'm always amazed with the one that I have in my bathroom that I've been using ever since my dentist told me I needed to floss some more. I get, uh, you know, we eat or whatever, and then at night I'd go and floss my teeth because I floss day and, uh, morning and night. And I'm always amazed by, even though I can't feel or I'm not able to like get stuff out of my teeth, there's always something that comes out. So it's definitely important to do this, to, 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 to get the flossing done. With it, however you want to do it. All right, so now we have, I'm gonna put our little tray, I think right here, since the, the cord is coming out on this side, I'm gonna put it right here. If you had it on the other side, you may want to put it on this side right here. I mean, you could put it anywhere you want, really. This cord is super long. Like, I'm going all the way to the back of the shower. Look, I'm wrapping it around me right here and coming back. That gives you guys a good idea for how long it is. So I love that they give you such a long cord, too, because you can really, like, move things around. You can move around your shower if you need to. Um, it just gives you lots of placement. If you wanted to put this, like, way over here, you could do that as well. But I'm going to do it right here just for simplicity. But I do want to make sure that my shower curtain is not in the way. Okay. Rough measurement right there. It seems like right here would be the ideal place. And I also want to make sure that I have enough room since this one is on the outside where the little uh, break is so you can get the hose in and out right here. You want to make sure that you have enough room right there if you do have something hanging on the side. So go ahead and press this guy on in using that. Another nice thing about this too is that if for some reason your suction cups come off, this is just plastic. So nothing's really bad is going to happen with that. So let's see, I'm just going to kind of make that a little bit straighter, see if we can get rid of all the twists in there, at least a few of them. Now, whenever you're going to put your shooter maneuver onto your hose ending right here, you just simply have this little guy. You see that there's two little indentions right there, and this thing has these two little nubs right there. Just want to line that up, pop it on in, 
oops, hold on, you gotta twist. Put it on in and twist. And then you got a good hold. If you wanna change them out, simply twist, pop up, and you're good. Because they make like a, a little L. The indention makes an L in there so that it holds into place. So simply put it in and twist. Then that, since that one has the cord on it, it's gonna go right here on the side so you can get your cord in and out. And then you have your other one right here, which can just sit wherever you want, kind of a backup one, or like I said, if you have more than one person, you can utilize uh, that. So we are installed. It's that easy. Now let's see how it works. I do got to point out, and they, I think they mentioned this in the instructions or somewhere, the first few times that you use this thing, it's going to tickle your lips. And it's just because of all the like little uh, water beads, if you will, coming off of it. And uh, it just, it feels a little funny, but after a while you get used to it. So let me go ahead and demonstrate this. I'm going to uh, turn the valve this way. I don't want to be in here because it's definitely going to get... Another thing that I like about this too is like whenever you're flossing, especially with like a handheld water flosser, usually the uh, you have to like bend over the sink to be able to make sure it just falls out of your mouth and it doesn't uh, get all over the place, all over your clothes and whatnot. But with something like this, doing it in the shower, you're already all wet. <laughs> so you're literally just adding more water to the mix. It doesn't really matter if it falls on you or not. And so it works really well just for, you know, keeping sinks clean and all that type of stuff. So let me go ahead and grab this guy right here. I'll show you all how it shoots out. Let me turn on the water. Pull the diverter. We have the shower going right here. I should turn that. And then now I'm just going to change the diverter. And you get a nice stream of water coming out of there so that you can uh, utilize this thing in the mouth. You get a nice powerful stream there as well, you can see, so that you get a really good floss. Here, look, I'm gonna try not to get this all over me. I wanna show you guys kind of how it works whenever you actually use it. So uh, I'm just gonna put my mouth in there and we'll do a little floss. Hello, Bo. turned off the water to make everything stop then I want to turn on my turn off my diverter and that's because I don't want the water spraying on me because I still have all my clothes on <laughs> but that is uh, how it works right there works extremely well highly recommend it love I have the little placement right there for all of the things and now you're in my case our kids are gonna be able to water floss in the shower making their teeth a lot more clean so if you guys are looking for an excellent way to get your kids to, to floss their teeth, get all the junk out of there so they don't get cavities and all that mess, this is definitely a must-do right here, in my opinion. I think it's fun for them as well, as long as they can reach this diverter. That's kind of the kicker. you got to make sure that they're able to, to be able to reach that. The other thing, too, is that this uh, diverter only comes in this polished chrome look, and we don't have that type of piping here. We have kind of a brass looking thing. Whoa, I'm trying to stand up on here to show y'all. So it doesn't technically match right there, which I mean, I don't really care that much about, but it'd be nice if you could choose what color or what finish of a uh, diverter you'd want right there. But just to get the job, and most people have this kind of polished chrome, you know, we got a little fancy, or I guess our, our previous owners got a little fancy right there with the, uh, the piping. So. Y'all definitely go and grab y'all one of those if that's something that you're looking for. Thank y'all for watching, and dad out. Oh, click follow on here. You can follow us here on Amazon if you want to. I definitely appreciate that.